Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how I take these neon photos. So let's get started. Quick announcement before we start, I've just launched some stickers. If you like the design, you have the link in the description. I really like how they turned out and purchasing one will support me directly. Also, a very small percentage of you are actually subscribed, so if you end up enjoying the video, definitely consider subscribing. Now let's get on to the video. Alright, let's start things off with what you need in order to take these types of photos. So you'll need a tripod, a camera, which can be set manually, and a little LED light. Now we have to set the camera, we put it in manual, it's represented by the M on the dial. If you have the dial, if not, you have to go into settings. And then all we need to do is change the ISO and the shutter speed. The shutter speed, as you can see, it's pretty much 1 over 20th of a second or something like that. But we need it to be 4 seconds for this. And the ISO has to be at 100. I'm gonna take the automatic ISO off because I don't want it to change I just want it 100 and that's pretty much it for these settings unfortunately though I can't tell you exactly where to look for these settings since cameras are built different so you'll have to find them by yourself now I'm just gonna put a two seconds self timer and that's all you have to do in terms of settings the next step is pretty simple all you have to do is find a dark room or wait until it's night so that you can shoot then just mount your camera on the tripod and get the led light ready finally we are on to the last step which is by far the hardest as well position the figure make sure that it's in focus and make sure that the settings are correct then we are ready to press the button to shoot the photo and immediately the self timer should start once the self timer is over and the camera actually starts shooting the photo you have to move the light around the figure as you can see on screen and create this swirling effect now it probably won't look the best from the first try so that's why you need to practice it a bit and this is how mine turned out a common issue is that your photo is overexposed and it comes out like this so to troubleshoot it all you have to do is either lower the iso if it's possible or decrease the exposure time so that less light is captured but if you go for this option you'll have less time to move the light so you'll have to be quick that's pretty much it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or if your photo didn't come out how it's supposed to message me on instagram and i will gladly help you thanks for watching see you next time